How you doing there, 420 Freaks? This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. Why do you think we're called Highland Hill Farm? Well, today I want to talk to you about growing your own salicylic acid. Yeah, you can grow some acid. And we have just the trees for you to grow your acid. Yes, salicylic acid. It's good stuff, man. It's pain reliever. It's natural. <sighs> yes, we have a tree. It's called Betula Niagara. It's a beautiful tree. It grows high, yeah. And you'll enjoy it. it. Grows quick. Yeah, the government doesn't know about it. So you can grow and get your own acid. Yes. Call us at Highland Hill Farm for salicylic acid growing trees. We got more. This is an example of a river birch. This is a heritage river birch. It's about five, six years old. When we plant these in the ground, we usually put three or four of them together into a clump. As you notice, this doesn't have a lot of exfoliating bark on it, but it will have exfoliating bark. You can see some of it maybe down the right angle with the camera, but there is exfoliating bark on this tree. What happens is when it's real young, that it doesn't have any exfoliating bark. But as the bark matures, it starts to exfoliate, and as the tree gets older and older, the older bark will have more and more exfoliating features on it. Just that right now, since it's young, it's in a juvenile stage of life, it doesn't have a lot of exfoliation. As the exfoliation gets more and more, it actually becomes more and more pronounced, the further away you stand, you can see more of the exfoliation of the bark. And it is a winter feature. I do enjoy looking at the river much just because of the bark. We have hundreds of little birch in our field, and if you ever like to order some, please give us a call at 205-651-8329. Thank you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.